Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Marshalls haul for you today. Um, I went to Marshalls and Home Goods, but I think all this came questionable. Marshalls or Home Goods? I think it all came from Home Goods, to be honest with you. Um, but it is all one store for me. Let's see if I can get this up here for a thumbnail. I did. Mar the store I went to is one store. It's half and half. And then my other one is Home Goods, Marshall's upstairs, Home Goods downstairs. So I always get confused where I'm buying what from. Um, and I do have coffee, and this is going to look familiar because I just filmed a Dollar Tree haul, but they'll probably go up in reverse order. Apparently, I'm on it today. So. This haul is Christmas stuff, and most of it is for advent calendars, little gift cup mug baskets for my coworkers, or stocking stuffer. So it's all kind of the same genre, except for this. I am obsessed. I bought this for myself. It's a blanket. It is giant. And it is so squishy and soft. They have with dogs too. This is cats in teacups with candy cane. I'm obsessed. $16.99. That's it. And it's giant. And it's going to be so perfect to cuddle up under on a winter's day. And who am I kidding? That stays out year round. Okay. So the first thing I got not purchased at uh, Marshall's or Home Goods is this hot chocolate. So I'm looking for individually packaged, single serving things to sort because it's not going to a family. If this was going to like a specific family, I would buy a bottle or a box of hot chocolate or a tin can of hot chocolate and marshmallows and all that. And it would definitely be uh, more cost effective, but I'm giving this to all different people. These are going to many different avenues. Like I said, I have two advent calendars I'm building. 14 little gifts for my work people, uh, my team and my co-manager's team um, for winter and some stockings. So I needed individually wrapped things. So that's where I'm coming from and why I'm doing it like I'm doing it. My coworker, Teresa, told me that the Swiss Miss Double Dark or Dark Chocolate is the best. I don't know. I have sugar-free stuff. This is not sugar-free. But she said it's good, so she picked up two boxes for me. It was like $2.50 something a box. You get eight servings, so these will go for my team because I need 16, 14. I don't know how many. I need 14, 16 something. Then I picked up these candy canes. These are peppermint candy canes, mini stripe. They were $4.99, and you get like 35 little candy canes. And these are the individually packaged ones. I'll show you since I'm, I can open these. I like them because they're the individually wrapped ones, right? They're not in the little cello bags, but it doesn't matter either way. Um, and these are going to go and be gifted. So you get like 35 in there, which is perfect for me. I grabbed that. I picked up, oh, I might have also opened this. I did have one. Um, I picked up these bags of Godiva. This is not necessarily in the Christmas section. And this was $4, which is really a good price if you know Godiva. And everything in here is individually packaged. So I can, one for you, one for you. Ooh. I lost one. I'll find it. Yeah, um, for the advent calendar, you know, on whatever day, I will put some chocolate. Maybe I'll put a peppermint and a chocolate in one day. It just kind of depends. So I definitely needed some chocolates, and I will be buying more stuff. But this is what I have for now that I got at this at Marshalls. I also picked up these. This set it was a little expensive. It was nine ninety nine. But if you're looking to do stockings, especially, this would be a great stocking stuffer. Um, I bought it because I can take it out of its packaging and one of these can go in each stocking or it's going to maybe go into a um, 
little advent bag, but there's three of them. So that's really only $3.33 a piece. I, I know it's still a little high for some folks, but depending what you're doing, you can totally break these packages apart. And I think that's the point. Like you don't have to leave everything in one specific package. If it comes like these, you can open it up and separate them out and share. Um, this is for decorating at my office. I'm doing on my desk a pink, mint, green, and metallic theme. I have three, this will be three different size bulbs that I'm going to put on something I'm going to build. And I will definitely, I already started recording the video. Um, it's an arch that's going to go on my desk at work. So I grabbed these. Look at the colors in there. Those are the mints and metallic. And then these are like some mint i have a lot of pink ornaments so i needed some more mint in these opalescent ones so i have three different sizes i may have gone overboard but i don't care i don't care i'm building things are happening things are being built um this was my coup de gras the find of the century i in my mind wanted this product and it manifested it it happened okay I knew that I wanted marshmallows for my team. I'm going to open this because, again, these are individually packaged. Um, this whole thing was $12.99, and you get 14 of them, which is exactly what I need. I can't open it. Yeah, I can. No stopping me. I don't know why it's resealable because it's individually packaged stuff in here but whatever Oops. these are hot cocoa toppers so what they are is a marshmallow right they're a flat marshmallow full of sprinkles and chocolate and you sit it on top of your hot cocoa and it melts in and so in here is a package and you get 14 of these individual which is exactly what I wanted because I'm gonna put a hot cocoa I'm gonna put it in the bag, marshmallow. And nobody wanted me to open a bag of marshmallows and, and distribute them. So I was willing to spend the money to get these. Um, they do sell these at Target in two packs, but they're like 250, I think, $2. Anyway, I only wanted one a person. So this was perfect and I will pair it with a candy cane hot chocolate and candy, and I will make a video when I'm ready. I just, I plan on distributing these to my team the Monday after Thanksgiving, so it's more winter and not necessarily Christmas, just because I have folks that don't celebrate the holidays, and I want it to be very inclusive for everybody, so I'm just going to do it at Thanksgiving time, like when we come back to work, and it's a winter theme, not a Christmas theme. You don't care. I'm just telling you. But um, I need to grab this stuff while I find it. At the store, there was literally one of this size left. They had some teddy bears, but they didn't have any of just the round ones, but this. So uh, the point being, when you see it, you need to buy it, even though it's October and it's not even Halloween yet. We have to buy the things we see. Um, oh, I got this for my house and you'll know exactly why. I'm dying. I know this will be a better picture. I know. So my kitchen, oh, look at the polka dots. I do my kitchen in gingerbread and I'm like, oh, this is perfect. The colors and these were $6.99 and the brand is Mia Charo and they're nice towels too. I don't, these are not used towels. These are, um, look at towels. There's a difference. Do you notice the theme here? Cats and pink. Um, I just have a couple, two things left. And this was another item that they only had two on the shelf. Now, does this mean they only have two in stock? I don't know. You don't know with Marshalls. They unload what they unload and they get what they get. And you get what's there. So it's not like I can say they're never getting it again. I don't know. But again, if you see it, you buy it. 
So I got, it's coffee syrup, peppermint mocha, although they're calling it thin peppermint mocha. So I think it's supposed to be a play on like a thin mint from the Girl Scouts. But I do love me a peppermint mocha moment and it's sugar free. So I'll just put a little pump up here and I can put it in my coffee. I know, and hot chocolate because I got sugar free hot chocolate. But this is um, peppermint mocha. And I think I need to find a bag or a bottle that I can transfer some of this into and take it into the office for the coffee station because I would like to have some at work. I'm going to sniff it. Mmm, it does smell. I'm putting it in my coffee. It does smell more like a, um, cookie than a peppermint mocha. It smells just like a thin mint. So there's probably like some extra vanilla. What I have found with these um, sugar-free or any of these syrups, less is more. A little bit, taste it, a little bit, taste it. Because once you go too much, done. Okay, and the last thing I got is for my new Christmas tree that's going in my front window because um, family and my other tree is just terribly big, so I need to get a new full-size tree, but for this year, I bought a four-foot pre-lit tree that's going to go in my front bay window, and I did get the question, will the boys knock it over? They won't, as long as I leave room for them to lay on the carpet on either side. I'll lay down a rug, and they have to have room on either side of the tree, and then they won't bother the tree. They like laying under the lit tree, so they'll be happy, and they don't tend to climb or anything like that, but I thought this was so pretty. And it's going to sparkle in my front window. And it was only $9.99, which they say compared to $13, but I want to know who they're comparing it to. It doesn't matter. But there's little crystals, and I thought it would be really pretty in the window with all the lights. It'll sparkle. So I got that to go on my tiny tree that will live in my front window. And that's everything I got this time around. I will definitely have more videos coming because I have, so I need to get some stuff at Sam's Club again for all the things. I wanna get a bag of the Reese's Christmas trees and that'll go into advent calendars and these goodie bags. I need to get, they also have chocolate covered pretzels that I might get to put in the goodie bags for my team. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and yes, you guys can all come and work for me or with me at the bank if you want. And then you too will get marshmallows and hot chocolate. I got to put all this stuff together so I don't lose track of it. And then in six months, I find it and go, oh, that's where that went. Because I'm not going to lie, that happens. Uh, this craft we'll just talk for a minute it's gonna be fantastic i went to home depot i took you with me i showed you what pvc to buy what size although i changed my size we'll talk about it when we do it and what spray paint i will show you and how i spray paint how i spray paint it and then we're going to decorate it with greenery and lights and the bulbs i don't know why this looks bent when I sit it down, but I'm hoping when it's on top of a tree, it won't. But that's everything I got this weekend to get myself ready for the holidays in my Halloween shirt because I'm headed to a Halloween party in five minutes. All right, guys, you have a fantastic time and I will show you or have showed you what I made in my haunted hand building class. And my next one is festive hand building and I cannot wait. I'm more than so excited. All right, guys, I will talk with you later.